Hey there, so today I'm going to show you how to integrate Aweber with a platform called Sleeknode. <clears throat> First, go into your Aweber account and you have to create a signup form. So pick the list you want to create the signup form in, then click Signup Forms, and then click Create New Signup Form. After you do that, you'll be brought to this page, and here you can choose your fields that you want to be in your sign up form. These need to match the same fields that you're going to have on your pop-up. So if you have first name and email on your pop-up, you need to have name and email on this form. If you have other other uh, fields, uh, then you need to add that. So you can do that here in the form builder. You can also add tags to this form. So anybody who submits your form on from your pop-up, uh, from your sleek note pop-up, it'll get this tag applied to it. Okay, so after you're done doing that, you can click save your form or you can click go to step two. These are all the fields that we're going to have on my sleek note pop-up, so we'll just go with that. Now, we have this. You can have your form name. I'd say stay on the thank you page, stay on current page. So I don't want to do anything different with thank you page and already subscribe page, those um, don't really matter that much. So we'll save the form. The advanced options is just where you want to start them with a message and any sort of ad tracking. So here we go, and then just click use my form as a landing page, highlight that, go to that page, open that up, and then what you want to do is then you want to put your name in there But before you do that, you need to click right click, click inspect, and go to network. Then you need to do Command R or Control R for Windows. Okay, and that's going to reload the page. So just put this stuff in here again. All right, now let's click, uh, let's make sure Preserve Log is clicked and All is clicked here so sometimes you'll be filtering here so this is a filter so you want to click all hit submit so here we go. let's see if this worked it looks like a we didn't like this um, but I think it'll still work so So yeah, they didn't like it because I put test email. So that must they must have filters there. So, um, but here this is what you need. So you need to look for this. It says add lead.pl. So highlight that, and you can see here. Request URL at aweber.com. Add lead. You can also filter here. Add lead, and it'll only show that. So, okay. Now we're gonna go over to Sleek Note and do the custom integration so okay so the request URL is this right here so we'll highlight that we'll copy it Come over here we're gonna paste it and then you can see the request method is post so quest type is going to be post continue to mapping now we're gonna scroll all the way down to form data and you see name is mark so for the name, it's just name. Email is email. And then we have some custom fields here. Custom fields, the ones that really matter are list name, this tells Aweber what list to subscribe you to. Okay. And then if you want to do the tag, you need the tag in there as well. So add row, and my tag here that I've decided to use is pop-up. And that's pretty much all you need so for this to work. And you click save integration, and come down here, save campaign. Okay, and you're good to go.